Well, faking being friends with Guillermo and Natalie finally paid off because I just got the email I've been waiting for all of my life. Guillermo and Natalie sent me a little Evite that had those dancing elves in it, and it said, you are invited to Tom Tom's exclusive party tonight where we will be watching Tom Sandoval and the most extras perform. Thank you so much, Guillermo and Natalie. I knew that befriending you 10 years ago was gonna be worth it, and finally, finally, it happened. I started the night off trying to get drunk as a skunk by ordering the Clockwork Pink, which was amazing. Hey everybody, I just want to say I'm having the best time of my life. I'm here with five of my best friends and we're at Tom Tom. Hey everybody, this is the kind of food they have at Tom Tom. Look at this. Hey, look at some of this stuff. Artichoke dip and whatever this is. That was pita bread. Balls with a little mixed greens on them. Yeah. Hi everybody, I ordered a bunch of different things. This is the spicy tuna. These are the ghost cheese balls and this is a ham. Impossible uh, sliders. Impossible sliders. Ham. At this point, we settled in to watch this beautiful Vanderpump Rules episode, and guess who was sitting right in front of us? That's right, it was Ken, Todd, Lisa Vanderpump, and little Harrison. Right after this, Lisa Vanderpump didn't want her fries anymore, and she handed them to me. That is very true, that really happened. Then, we sat back and relaxed as Tom Sandoval played his beautiful, beautiful music for us. And we weren't the only ones that were having the time of our lives. Lisa Vanderpump was also having an amazing time. During this performance of Schwartz's Mom, Lisa was filming and clapping and hooting and hollering and living her best life with her husband in Harrison. Then I go, let's go backstage for a different view of Tom Sandoval. So I captured this moment. Then my lust for meeting more Vanderpump Rules cast members couldn't be sated. So I asked Ken Todd for a photo and he politely declined. He said, sorry, but I don't take photos anymore. So he must have forgotten that he took a photo with me four years ago. And then I said, Lisa, can I please take a photo of you? And she said, you have one second. And then this is the photo we got. One of the worst photos I've ever taken. She must have forgotten that I was the one that she gave her fries to earlier in the night. Then after two full-blown flops, I asked James Kennedy for a photo and he happily obliged. He brought out his phone and lit my photo so that it was one of the most iconic photos I've ever taken. When I asked him, he said, fuck yeah, bro. And it was a beautiful moment. At this point, I had had four Coors Lights and I had officially had the best night of my life. I will never love anything more. I stood there and thought, can life get much better? And the answer was no. I had had the best night of my life. And I knew these are the best days of our lives.